Hi, Captain Hundley. This lecture is going to be on the apparatus known as a USAR, or the Urban Search and Rescue Unit. Okay, the USAR is a large uh, apparatus that carries tons of huge pieces of equipment and hand tools for large incidents. Uh, type of incidents this would go on would be earthquakes, tornadoes, natural disasters. Um, we also go on collapses. The major thing that we'll use this thing for is for a vehicle into a building from a traffic accident. And we'll use this unit to show up. Uh, we'll cut lumber and we'll shore up the home so it doesn't fall down and so that it can either be livable or at least the home doesn't collapse uh, when we leave the scene. But the Urban Search and Rescue recently went to Montecito at the Montecito mudslides and this was a search vehicle using its search cameras, uh, searching listening equipment to look for victims out in the mud out in Montecito. Um, we're also part of a regional task force, so RTF-7 is the team that this USAR is a part of, and it's an agreement or a regional task force uh, that works with other department USARs in the area, and they, we will combine with those three to four other units and show up to a large incident or natural disaster, okay? So the inside of this vehicle, inside cab area is more of a command type area. So when we take this USAR on an incident, this is gonna be our, our command center for that prolonged natural disaster incident that we're on. Okay, and then there are tons and tons of tools on it. Got all the compartments open. This area right here, this is our confined space equipment. Confined space is a term for small. So a small entry area where we have to crawl through tunnels or tubes and we have supplied air on a hose as we're crawling through these little rat holes to find a victim that's maybe down and uh, asphyxiated from no oxygen. These are our little tunneling air compartment tools that we go to go find these victims in confined space. This area right here, this is our coring tool area. These are the tools we would use to core through concrete through a collapse from an earthquake or any other natural disaster. This is the wood that we would use to shore up buildings in case we have a collapse. We would use this tool. We have saws and chop saws and other types of hand tools we would use uh, to cut the wood and use it for the insulin. Bunch of hand tools right here for any type of application. Uh, we have some shoring devices here and also some shoring devices here. We would use these shoring devices for a trench rescue, let's say someone fell into a large trench at a, at a construction site, we're not, we don't want to just jump into this pit of death and chase after this victim uh, that's getting covered with dirt. We're going to use these shoring tools to properly shore up the trench so we can uh, create a safe environment for ourselves and also for that rescue and that patient that's stuck in the hole. Okay? So that is this side of the vehicle. Let's go ahead to the other side of the the USAR. We do have more equipment at the top, but mainly at the top of this USAR, we have a bunch of SCBAs and breathers, and we do have a couple ladders up there. Okay. Well, over here in this compartment area, we have some extrication tools. Okay, remember we talked about extrication tools for the truck would be for vehicle extrication, cutting car apart. Well, this would be used um, more for a large incident. Maybe we have a a train that's overturned and we need even more tools to cut apart the train that's into a vehicle, or airplanes down, any other environment we would need a heavy power tool to move equipment in a collapse or anything, we have that here. This is the other side of the hand tool section, the other side of the wood, lots of wood for the USAR because the wood is used to shore up everything and make it a safe environment whether that's crawling through a collapse zone or creating entry into a trench. We need to create nice wood areas. Over here, we have all our tools we would use to chop wood or if we need to do any type of uh, forceful entry or get into an area with chainsaws or rotary saw, we could do that right here. And then also on this side is the other side of our communication zone for confined space or anything that's in a tunnel. Uh, where we need to communicate long distances with a, with a port that's always direct communications with each other. So pretty much the USAR 
USAR 68 for our department is just another giant toolbox. And this is a type of apparatus that is used widely across the state of California and several other agencies across the world. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about the USAR apparatus, please contact me or leave a message down below. Thank you.